Oh man, that looks so much better. These tires are gonna make a world of difference, I feel like, on the track. What's going on, guys? I got an exciting mod today I've been waiting to do for quite a while now. They've been on back order. If you haven't been able to tell from the title of the video, it's the SVE SP2 wheels that LMR sells. And so they've been on back order for months and months and finally came back in stock. I uh, was on the fence about getting them and then finally bit the bullet and bought them. And I'm very glad I did because they look great. They are super lightweight. They're supposedly lighter weight than the uh, performance pack uh, wheels that come on the performance pack cars. These came with the Nitto NT05s on them. This is going to be a dedicated set of track wheels and tires for the car. I really wanted to get the NT01s for this, but this was a package deal off the site. They came mounted balanced with the, the air pressure sensors already put on and everything. So we'll burn up the NT05s. For a while and then when we burn these off then we'll go probably into ones and then we're just gonna keep let's see here we're just gonna keep the good old stock uh, Pirelli P0 tires that came on the car and wheels for just an everyday set you can tell I did use these on a track day or two and did some pretty good damage to the outside of them but they still wear fine still have plenty of tread so we're gonna keep those around a little bit longer but look at the size difference in this tire. Try to line it up as best I can for you there. So stock 255s on, again, GT Premium car, not a performance pack car. So I think these are, are these 8-inch wide wheels, I think? 19 by 8s. These rear ones are 19 by 11s with two, two, no, 305, 35, 19s. And the fronts are 19 by 10s with 275 35 19s on them so they're gonna look really good on the car I've got this one wheel off already so I can put this one on and then compare with the other side of the car see how they line up see see how wide they are on there and uh, so we'll yeah we'll put those on there and and compare and then we'll we'll swap a front one and then we'll look at it and then go from there all right so here's the back one on looks really good sitting on there there's the alignment from the outside, almost perfectly flush with the outside of the fender, quarter panel. Here's the front tire off, ready to put the new one on. So there's that 255 factory tire, Pirelli tire. Here's the 275, try to line them up pretty decent. 275 on the 10 inch wheel that'll replace it. So get that one on and then check the side and see what it all looks like put together. So there's the very dirty factory wheel. And here's the new SP2 wheels. Oh man, that looks so much better. These tires are gonna make a world of difference, I feel like, on the track. They got so much more traction, so much more meat than those 255s and wheel. So if you look at it now, the fronts are pretty much dead in line with the outside of the car the fender same thing with the rears if you look at it they're pretty much dead in line got a nice aggressive tire the wheels look great they're lighter so if we look at the footprint now got a pretty good sized tire uh, especially compared to the little, little dinky 255 that's over there so now we just got to go put the other side on and we'll be done so far they look so much better fills out the wheel well they line up with the outside of the car pretty happy with that and with that we're all done it's back together it looks great they turned out fantastic super happy with the aggressive look obviously very happy with the extra tires uh, or extra tire width and and traction that I'll probably get out of these. So let's turn around and there we go. So again, everything's really flush now. You got a really nice tire on the back. 305 back here. 
Um, took it for a quick spin yesterday afternoon uh, when I got finished putting everything back together. Uh, the tire pressure sensors worked fine, picked up on the car, that, no problems there. Then uh, no issues with the balancing. I was worried about that. I've ordered tires like this over the internet before that come pre-mounted and balanced and everything and, and had to go have them immediately balanced again. But everything was fine, really smooth. You get a little extra tire noise out of, out of these, uh, obviously, versus kind of just a regular summer tire. These um, do make a little bit more road noise, but nothing crazy. And, and obviously the exhaust and the radio and everything pretty much makes up for that. <clears throat> so happy with, with the way it turned out. Can't wait to try them out on the track. Some people uh, complain about these SVE center caps on, online and everything. They really don't bother me that much. I'll probably just leave them like that. They say that the Ford Mustang center cap does not fit or it's too loose. And so I wasn't even gonna bother trying to swap those out. And so they do say that the GT350 center cap is a direct fit. It's kind of crazy how they're all slightly different sizes. But again, I'm not even gonna worry about ordering a new set of center caps for this. I'll probably just leave them just like they are. But regardless, um, I, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Super thrilled with the fit, finish, the look. I love the gloss black. Obviously, I'm going for an all blacked out car with just a few little hints of red here and there. Uh, that came from the factory like that, so I decided to match the front with it. So the wheels, wheels look great. Uh, you can see to the brakes and everything. Next up on the list is probably a a brake caliper and a rotor upgrade so now you can see it even better through the wheels but yeah really happy with the way things turned out so if you like this video give it a thumbs up or if you have any questions or comments you know drop them down below i'll leave the link to where i purchased these in the description if you're interested i actually did look today um finishing up this video to grab the link and they're already back out of stock so Evidently pretty popular combination that a lot of people buy for this car and so they're out of stock again I don't know how long it'll be until they're back in But you can set a reminder and they'll email you when they when they come back in and you can grab you a set if you want to uh, Again, if you like the video or want to follow along with the Mustang build Other Mustang videos consider subscribing and I appreciate you guys checking it out. Have a good one